Hello guys and welcome to the workshop. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a how to build video featuring one of the builds I am most proud of, Withered Bonnie. Now the model itself, just a slight warning, is a decently big model around um, 12 inches tall. Yeah, he's 12 inches tall. For the accessories, at least when this model is done, removable bow tie, but it's not meant to have a part that's attached to come off with it, of course. And a uh, little handgun. I don't know why I made him one, I just thought I would. Withered Bonnie with a gun. It just popped in my head one day and I thought it was funny. Alright, let's get into the build process. All right, before we do anything else, I might as well give you a parts list, so, uh, give me a sec here. All right, I'm hoping my camera keeps stable, because this is everything you're going to need to build this guy. So go on, pause the video, take a good photo. All right, did you do it yet? You did it? Okay. Well, I'm just gonna clarify some things for you. First of all, a little close up on this piece here, because I know it's a little hard to see black on camera. So, as you can see, that's what this piece is meant to be. There's a little close up at the ridges over here, over here. Oh, and all the parts on this little duct tape square that's solely for the gun that's why i put them over there because it's optional you don't need these parts the ones on the square you don't need them but they're there if you want to build the gun then over here just for clarification i've left these parts built because i don't want to loosen the joints but let's take a good long look there also there's a little hero factory piece right here for the neck just want to make sure y'all got all that. Oh, and there was a little ball joint Technic piece attached to this Hero Factory foot. Those six by ones have five holes in each. All right. And over here are just some of the, like these parts are flat. Those are little slopes. And just to get a better look at the slopes over here. And I'm happy that translucent piece is coming up on camera because I was really worried about that. And, of course, the rest of the hinges over by everything else. I don't know the names of any of these parts. That's why it's not comprehensive. I'm sorry about that. I kind of just work with scraps. All right. Got all together. Let's begin building. All right. We'll start from the bottom and work our way up to the top. So the first thing we're going to need is two ball... Two Technic ball bricks one socket, and one silver Hero Factory foot. This is for the white foot because it's already metal, so that just kind of works and makes a lot of things easier. This piece, however, this is going to form a blue foot, and we actually want it to look like, well, his foot, so that's going to be a little more difficult. So just follow along with me here. I'm going to need two of these. Now, you can use one with studs, but I recommend using find one of these as well. So it's this here. And then flip it over. Take two of these. Place them right there. Set that off to the side. And let's start building the actual base of the foot. So you're going to need... Start off with a base plate there, then take one of these, put it right here, two of these, place it here, here, take another one of these, place it here, flip over. Now take two of these and one of these. Form that. 
place that right at the heel. Next, take these three pieces. So two, if I'm remembering correctly, 2x1 plates and one 2x2. You'll want to put them on the bottom here. Make this sort of three-toed look. And then to complete it, do these two slopes. And you'll actually want a third bigger middle smooth slope, like, you know, 2x2. One of these, but just extended outward. But unfortunately, I don't have one of those. So I'm just going to use a plate with another 2x1 underneath it. Then take this section, turn this around, bend it up. And there are his feet. All right, now for the legs, you're going to need two sockets, one brick with two balls, well, pieces, you know what I mean, and also socket joints and Technic friction pieces and whatever these are called. Sorry, you're going to need two of them. All right, let's begin. First things first, let's make the crush plate. You're going to need one of these, one of these. That's going to go on the back here. Then you're going to need one of these. Because that will secure everything in place. You're just going to need a blue piece. This is translucent blue, but it doesn't have to be. And then take one of these. And that will form the crush piece. Second, let's get to work on the thighs. So first things first. You're going to need one of these, this is right here, and put this piece in the middle there. Then take another one, put it on the back here. Now to give it a little more of a withered effect, I recommend doing a little setup like this with a blue Claw, please. Why is the camera not focusing? This is recorded on an iPhone. I'm sorry. With a 1x1 stud with a little claw on the side. And one of these three bar pieces. You want to plug them together. And plug this into the leg. And why is this not focusing? There we go. And then just fold that up. That will make it look like it's a little more withered. Add this here to lock everything in place. Now flip it over. What we're going to need here take one of these, one of these, put this here, put this here, and then this piece on top of all that. Just one thigh. Let's work on the other. Honestly, the other thigh is mostly the same, except for the couple sprawl differences here. For example, this piece, the one that goes on the back of the thigh, it's exactly the same. You will, of course, need another one of these from the front here. But instead, what you want to do is add some pieces here and use the dots on the bottom to add this one at a slightly lower level. Scratch that with that up a bit. And it should look like that. Insert the rest of the leg piece here. Next. Sorry, I'm taking this apart as I go. Next. Take this piece. Put it here. Take this piece. Put it here. And instead of just placing this here, just move it up a bit. 
place this part. I want it to look a little varied, because this is withered, you know. And not everything decays exactly symmetrically. Oh, and of course, one of these. It's easier to lock everything in place. We have the thighs. Now let's get to work on the shins. All right, starting with the shins on the right side. We will start on the right side. So first things first, take one of these, place it right here, then take one of these, one of these, smack them together, place it on top of that. Flip around, get back section here, you're going to want these two pieces, smack them here, smack them here, and then for a little bit of accentuation, you don't have to do this, but I added these just for a little bit more oomph. Flip over again, then you want to extend the leg a bit, so take a piece here, put it in the middle, not going to be using that port, so just use any gray brick you want, honestly. Slightly. Add this piece. Then you want to add this piece here with a little one, two, three, this little angular bit on top of it. This will slot right in here, because that way, see, the little angular section fits in with the plate. Then flip it to the top again, sorry. Place 2x3, 2x2, and then add this piece here to act as a sort of knee pad. There you have one shin. Now let's get to work on the other, which is honestly a lot different. I don't know why I built him like this, but I did build him out of a lot of scrap parts, so I apologize since this video is going to be long. So, take this piece, add it here, then you're going to want to take this piece, this piece, combine them together, flip it over, that will be placed on the back there. You also want to place this piece here. Alright, so Slight mishap, I actually meant for this piece to go like that. Not like this, like, check your model if you're building it right now. Should be like that. Sorry about that. Anyways, I figured we should probably just put the foot on this one right now, since it's pretty much all, already done. So just remove that section. Plop the foot right in. Add this piece here back. And there's one leg of body. Obviously, it needs the other foot to stand. So, let's get right to that. Spread the legs so that we have a little more view. Focus the camera. Why isn't the focus? Okay, here we go. So first, and this little piece here. Then, kind of hold this piece here. And add in this part. Move it around. And we just add the foot right now because that will just make things easier so it will give us more area to build upon next add this part right here then add this piece here this piece here and this piece here then proceed to add this piece right here. Then to finish it all off and to make it look a little more complete, add that there, add that there, and to give it a sort of shared knee pad look, add that, and there you have Bonnie's legs complete. Let me just angle the camera up so you can see it. Hopefully you should have this by now. Ignore that in the background would be for another day. 
So yeah, that's Bonnie's legs fully completed. Now let's get to the torso. I am not going to be happy about that. All right, starting with the waist section, first we'll start with the lower portion. We'll split the torso into thirds, which will be the belly, the arms and upper belly, and the back and head. Oh, and of course, a little, well, something, you know, just, just a little thing. I, I'm not sure if I can legally say it on YouTube without getting demonetized, but, uh, I don't really think it matters since my channel doesn't even have a thousand, not even a hundred. So, um, yeah, it's a little gun. We're giving him a little gun. And we'll be able to shoot projectiles if you load them into it. So, yeah. Alright, without further ado, let's get all this stuff out of the way and get started on building this thing. Alright, first things first, I don't want a pin, and one of these. Pin, put in here, obviously, and then you want to arrange these three pieces in a sort of U shape around the torso. Next, after that, place two more of these on the sides here to build up the sides of the body. Then, next, our next step will be, just give me a sec, this is being a little bit annoying, placing this base plate here. And now here's where we're getting into a little bit of optional territory because you could buy some parts to make this a lot easier. But what I recommend instead is to simply do a little bit of a little illegal build here. So what you wanna do is take two of these, put some here and here, and to give him his buttons, just place one right here just kind of smack it down till it's in the center there. It's a little hard to do on camera, but you finagle it just right. Come on. Hang on. Okay, what I actually recommend for this is getting a little something like this, just a little something to put the stud on the bottom of, and then, booyah. Now, you can actually put some studs in between these little spots. And that is how we do it. And finally, on the bottom, just one of these. Then two of these to extend the belly down a little further, and this to cover it up. And there you have the lower waist. If you want to, right now, go ahead and plug that into the lower torso. As you can see, this provides a little waist swivel, which I thought would be a very nice addition to the figure. All right. Let's get started on all right now we're coming around to the right arm and at this point i think it's pretty prevalent i'm building this on scrap pieces but that's that doesn't matter anyways let's get to it first things first we're gonna oh that's I just need to get out of the way you're going to need two of these so just put them together and then take one of these Smack that right there. Rotate. Then add one of these right here. And one of these right here. 
I'm going to rotate again. Add one of these right here. And add this right here. Give it that sort of shredded look. Then rotate this section. Take the upper arm. Let's move on to the lower. For the lower arm. First, you're going to need take one of these. Place this on top of there. Then place down one of these. Follow up. with some input like this. Now you'll notice I am not taking apart any of the ball joints or just the joints in general in this video. That's because this is something I want people to remember. It is better to not take apart the joints so that, that way they last longer. This is doing Hero Factory stuff, which in that case, it's pretty much fine. And take one of these, place it right there. Take one of these slanted piece. Place it right here. Okay. And now to finish it off, my own custom hand construction, which even includes an opposable thumb. So first, place this piece here, rotated sideways. Next, you want to put three silver exo arms on these gray little hinge things with the three parts. Put that there. Then you don't want to add another two by one right there. And now for the thumb. So that's a trick I discovered. Put this here. Put this here. But we are not going to add an XO arm there. We are instead going to add a clip here, then a clip here, and then the arm. This allows for a lot more motion with the hand. Now you can still get into poses like that, or this. This is a bit weird, I'll admit. But you can still make them do fists. You can you can give a thumbs up, even if it looks a little awkward. I just think that a little more posability is nice. Besides, this ain't something you're going to get out of a Funko model. <laughs> well, not model, but action figure. You get the idea. Anyways, there's the right arm. Alright, now for the rest of the to upper torso. Oh, not the rest of it, like, front half. You get the idea. Okay, to start off with the front torso, we'll build the bow tie. Now, I made mine incredibly oversized. You can make a smaller one if you want, but this is just how I build it. So first, one, two, X, six, plate. Then add these pieces. That makes a nice, big, pronounced bow tie. I'll admit, it's a little over-exaggerated, but I like it. Then next... You're going to need one just large gray brick. Then you want to place one of these on top of it. And then one of these. And you want to take a 2x1 brick with a, come on, camera focus, with a plus hole, shove that on the side here, and then that will allow you to insert like whatever cables you want to make the wires coming out of the other side, but in this case, I just built a little set of gray wire, gray quote-unquote wires out of bricks, so I just took a mixel piece, little ball joint peg, I'll do it right there, then on the bottom, I added a dark gray 2x2 with a light gray 1x1 stud in the center there. Then after that, sorry, sorry, I should stay on camera at all times. I took a 2x4 plate, 
Smacked it on there. And another one, but flat. Smacked it right there. And that's sort of the other arm, quote unquote. Then you're going to want to slide this under here. That is a 1x3. This will be important later. And then you're just going to want to build a little other structure on top. So take one black 2x1, take a light gray piece, smack that on the end of it, then take this, commit both pieces onto there, and take one, one X4, place it there, then for the bow tie, it's a little accessory piece, so if you want a small bow tie, just take this whole thing off, but if you want the big one, just put it right there. Then take the arm, pig it in right here. There you have the arms. Now, of course, you need the base plate to attach it all to the torso. That will come soon. That will come up right now. Next up, the torso's back plate. This is to link literally everything together. This is incredibly important. So first, get out a 6x6 six six plate. Add one. Focus, camera, focus. 2x1 brick there, flip it over, then you're going to want to add, add three of these 2x4, the 2x4 flat plates, except you want the middle one to go up higher than the other two. All right, flip it back over. Next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is take these pieces and arrange them like so, need two of them. And now you should use just Another 2x4, but I don't have that. But I didn't have that when I was building them. So I just used these two. Place both of them right here. And attach that piece. And then take 2x2. Smack it right there. And then to finish off this back plate of a torso, let's add in some nice shoulder pads. Because frankly, I think the boy needs them. So, on the top here, add these two clip pieces, and then to give the shoulder plates a sort of textured look to them, you're going to want to do, put down two hinge pieces, then place these bigger slope pieces in the back, and then place these two front and just put that here put that here there you have the back plate and shoulder pad so let's assemble the body oh wait she did that wrong oh that's I make mistakes. We all make mistakes here, folks. I'm keeping this in because, frankly, I've been recording this for a couple of days now. Place this here. mistakes okay in short upper section goes up here right above that brick this attaches onto here 
Sorry about that, folks. All right. And with that, we now have the body. Albeit it was a little rough getting here, but hey, we got it. So now let's get on to the head. The final piece. Well, this is technically the final piece, but final piece of the body, the head. So first things first, we're going to set this up with one of these pieces, one of these pieces, and then this Hero Factory bit in the center, because that will help form the neck. Well, not really the neck, just a way of letting the robot look up a little more, and also being able to attach this from a further distance back. Anyways, first to start off, add a 2x2 of whatever you want right here. Then next, flip it over. And what you're going to want to do is place one of these right on the back here. Because this will attach to the back of the robot. Next up, what you want to do is flip this over and then add on one 2x2 and one 2x3. Then after that, add two more 2x3s. And finally, this is meant to be a 2x4, I just didn't have one. Two 2x4s on top of all that. Hmm. I seem to remember this being slightly thicker. Um, slight problem here, folks. There appears to be a piece missing. Yeah, I know. Uh, that is entirely my fault. I'm sorry. So I meant to say was put two two x x two plates on this piece. There we go. Now it's all lined up and proper. All right. Now let's get to building the actual head. So first things first, what you're going to want to do is place down this, place two 2x2 plates stacked together on top of it, then place on the headpiece. Next step, to give him that hollow look, you've got to add two of these here and here and then place two more of these 2x4 base plates right here and right here then after sorry about the interruption just got something in the mail it's besides the point let's get back to it i rotate this so it's a little easier for everybody to see all right so the second place a 2x4 base plate there and it has, this time, the color actually matters. It has to be black. Because, how else are we going to try and get that silhouette? Yep, we're finally building the face. It's about damn time we got there. Let's take this little hinge piece. This will form the jaw. And the jaw itself, I'm actually going to build down here. Because it takes a lot of small pieces. And I would rather not build that sequence by sequence. So just take... One 2x4 piece, add on, not white, but since it's withered, gray, you could add white if you wanted to, but I didn't have it at the time, and I think gray would fit more with the withered look, so gray it is, and then two 2x1 pieces to help it sort of fill in the gaps. 
And there you have the lower endo jaw. You can actually already see it starting to form up. So now let's handle the top section, which will include the ears. So first things first, let's rotate it around. Add two, two X1 bricks. Add a third 2x1 brick. I know this one has a groove in it, but that actually doesn't matter. And then to start with the piece at the top, add and take one of these. This is a 2x1 with four studs on this side. Add in another 2x1 brick, shove that right there. Fill in those remaining pits with two of these flat corner pieces to level everything out. Then to add the eyes and upper head and well, just everything, add one. 2x4 plate, add what should be, sorry, another 2x4 plate, and then to finish it all off, add, oh, <laughs> forgot to remove the eyes from those, add two 2x1 plates with one stud on the top, and this flat piece here. These two here, you will now add so little translucent studs too. Those form that killer face. But now we need the top of the head, because that is incredibly important. You know, we need to give the bunny ears. Sorry about this. I have not taken these apart in a little while. But I'm going to warn you, it's going to be a lot of repetitive building. Unlike the rest of this figure, surprisingly enough. Okay, sorry about this taking so long. Never done this before. So first, set up two of these. We'll need them to be exactly like that. Next, take two 4x1 plates. Add a single 2x4 at the center to link everything together. And now for the repetitive builds. On all the open stud sides, place one flat 2x1 X plate on each part with open studs. Then next, to fill out the rest of that ear, Take one of these small little plates, you know, with 2x1, 2x1, then place plate here, 2x1 with one stud, then place another one of those on the outside. Repeat this process twice, repeat it, but with the 2x2 pieces. Then, sorry, I should have done this earlier when they weren't attached. These actually should be rotated the other way, so the smooth part is on the inside. Then just add on the ear pieces. And just plop that sucker but make sure these four pieces are going in the very, very back here. Plop that in, peg everything together, and then for the moment we've all been waiting for, see all this gray stuff here? Well, that's supposed to line up, so everything just plugs right in there. That way, there's a little bit of texturing in the back there to really emphasize the weathered bit. Then just fold down the head. 
And voila, you have made a fully posable Lego Withered Bonnie. Well done. Oh, wait, I forgot his most important accessory. The one that really makes it, makes it one of my creations. The randomness, aka I'm going to teach you how to build a small Lego hand hunt of the gun. So start up with this little missile launcher here and add one 2x1 plates, two 2x1 plates, and one of these 2x1 hinges. And finally, add a 1x3 for a handle. And just go over to his hand and see the stud right here? Just plug that right on in there. Especially at the fingers, and voila. You have now made your own withered Lego withered Bonnie with a Glock. Anyways, if you enjoyed that video, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share this around. I know you've heard of this a thousand times. It's a cliche, whatever. I have to say it because otherwise nobody's gonna do it. It's completely free, yada yada yada. Thank you all so much for stopping by. It really means the world to me that you sat through all of this. But yeah, I'm just happy to provide this. Because I look at all these Lego builds on the internet, and they're either bricks that are hyper accurate to the source material, or, or they're incredibly posable, but they're... They, they, they look nothing like the character. So... I thought I'd try and bridge the gap between that with my builds. If you want to see something else, please comment it down below. I've currently built uh, Foxy, Mangle, uh, Glamrock Chica, Roxy, Old Man Consequences, Freddy. Springtrap's one of my favorite builds, but he is challenging, so you're really going to have to... I don't know, maybe that would be like a 1,000 follower or subscriber special. Yeah. Anyways, uh, follow me on Twitter at LoneWolf1337, and I will see you all, all around. Or probably not at all. <laughs> you know how the algorithm works. Farewell.